Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to loop your switches correctly. So you need a switch first, but you need to see what type of switch you have. So be sure that your switch opener that you need is uh, in the good type of opening type. So this is for kale switches that look like this. It's like a, a long part that clip in the bottom housing of the switch. But there is also the cherry style that is four points like this. So you need lube, but so this is 205G0 from Lobno. It uh, changed name, so I'm going to put the link in the description. For all the stuff, I'm going to send the link. You'll need a, a brush. So this is a lube brush from the Glorious brand. Um, you'll need some tweezers or some stem, uh, stem holder. Uh, or it's like jewelry, jewelry. I don't know how to say it properly, but jewelry holding style uh, like this. So first, you need to open your switch. So you put your switch in the opener. You just have to press both sides like this, and it's pulling apart. So you have four parts. You have your stem that look like this. You have the spring, that is basically just a spring. You have the bottom housing. The uh, bottom housing is the part where you have the copper connectors. And you have the top housing. So when you start lubing, you, uh, you don't need to lube your spring and the uh, top housing. So I, I put them aside on the side. And you will need just the bottom housing and the stem. So first of all, you open your lube and you grab your stem by the little X part with your stem holder. You put just a little bit of lube on your brush, just like that, and you are going to lube this part, the back as well. You are going to lube everywhere with just a gentle coat of lube, the side as well. And on the little stem legs, not sure if you can see, but on the little stem legs as well. So let's take just a bit of lube to finish it. So you put it on the side and you take your bottom housing. You take a little bit of lube that you are going to slide on those rails right here. So you just slide one, two times in on the other one as well. One, two times. And on the little circle, you go all inside, around inside and all around outside. And then you take your spring back. You can put your spring here. You take your stem. You put your stem back on the spring. And you take your bottom housing as well. And now it's it's finished. You have a switch that is perfectly looped. So you don't I'm not making sound test in this video because I uh, already made a lot of sound test for every switches that I have. So if you want to see how looped matcha green look like, sound like, uh, I recommend you to watch the video that I put in the description below. So if you enjoyed this video and if it helped you feel free to comment it in the comment section or like the video, maybe subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I will, I'm telling you to have a great day and uh, goodbye.